Today on Fresh Gear, it doesn't have to cost a lot for your first DVD player. We round up affordable DVD players for about $150. Plus, tour the chop shop to the stars. Jennifer Lopez, yeah. Denzel, we also did SUV for him. The sky's the limit for these mobile multimedia rides. See new upgrades for Apple and Sony's Clie. And we'll look at some two-wheeled transportation, all powered electrically. Then don't miss it as we fire test some fire-resistant paint. Will it go up in flames? All this and more next on Fresh Gear. Hello and welcome to Fresh Gear, your source for cool tech trends and high-tech gadgets. I'm Sumi Das. When shopping for a DVD player, cost can be a major deciding factor. Tech TV Lab went in search of a decent DVD player under $150 and came up with three potential candidates. Here's Tech TV set-top box expert Robert Heron with a look at what you might expect in this price range. An inexpensive DVD player should offer a good picture, audio, and a few additional bells and whistles. But if you're a video file looking for advanced features like progressive scan output or an audio file looking for SACD or DVDA support, you're going to have to spend a few hundred more and look elsewhere. If money is the bottom line, then Apex Digital's 801500 Panasonic's DVD RV32 and JVC's XDS302 can all deliver. All three players have good image quality, but none can properly scale our video test clips. This means you're going to lose a few pixels on the left and right edges of the screen. Not a big deal. We're also happy to see that all three players were able to play back our videos recorded on just recordable DVD media. Another nice step. The JVC XDS302 is a decent set-top DVD player, but a few odd quirks made it end up in last place. While it will play back MP3 audio tracks, the information about the current audio file is limited. The XDS302 has a two-way switch on the back of the unit for selecting between standard and component video output, but we had to fiddle with the switch until it actually works. Video outputs include composite component and S-video. Audio links include standard analog stereo RCA and digital coaxial. It has the most comfortable remote of our low-cost candidates, but the choice of button labels left us scratching our heads. For example, we kept looking for the setup button, and after pushing every button and reading the manual, we realized that it was called Choice. Huh? But overall, the JVC's XD S302 DVD player was free of any critical flaws. The Apex AD 1500 came in second place mainly for its price. Even though it lists at $150, we found a major electronics chain recently sold it for $70. The AD 1500 offers twin composite connections and an S-Video jack that we were able to use simultaneously. But we were unsure of why anyone would want to. You can get analog audio through the RCA stereo jacks and digital multi-channel audio via coaxial output. The bummer about the AD 1500 is that its video image is off-centered slightly to the right, and it doesn't offer component video out. It has no problem playing back audio files, but track navigation is needlessly painful. And the remote is outright bad in terms of layout and response, but for the price, you really can't go wrong. Because of its good looks, performance, and features, the Panasonic DVD R V32 gets our top vote for this category. It offers an easy-to-navigate on-screen menu system and was a breeze to set up. The player comes in an attractive silver metallic finish, also has a bright blue front display, and a very cool jaw dial. Video output options include composite component and as video. Analog audio is provided via a stereo or a subwoofer connection, and digital surround sound is offered through an optical output. We loaded our test disc with a variety of audio files, and the DVD RV32 played them all. The MP3 file list provides room for 10 tracks at a time with 32 characters for each file name. It would have been nice if Panasonic had included support for progressive scan output, but we understand that sacrifices had to be made to offer this player at the price they made. For Robert's full reviews on all of those DVD players, head to our website, freshgear.com. Now, just when you thought you were done with your spring upgrading, Apple adds a little bit more to their cinema display and power book. And in this case, bigger and brighter means better, if you're willing to pay the price. This is Apple's 23-inch cinema display. With a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1200 and an aspect ratio of 16 to 10, there's definitely lots of real estate to work with content developers and video editing professionals will really appreciate the extra workspace without having to add a second display, which takes a lot more room. Now, typically CRTs offer better color accuracy, but Apple claims the cinema display it comes pretty close, and in regular use, we tend to agree. In this case, bigger is better, but unfortunately, that means there's a $3,500 price tag. 
Apple's 23-inch Figma display is better left to professionals looking for a big tax break. This is the sweet new titanium PowerBook G4, Apple's most powerful, most advanced laptop to date, featuring an 800 MHz G4 processor, 133 MHz system bus, and an impressive 1 MB L3 cache. You'll notice that this gorgeous 15-inch display is actually brighter and has a higher native resolution of 1280 by 854, and it's running HDI's mobility Radeon 7500. The external hardware is pretty much the same, except for this. This is a digital video output, which will allow you to connect to any digital monitor. Now, a 40 gigabyte hard drive, 512 megabytes of RAM, an airport card, and a DVD CDRW drive will go a long, long way. But beware this wall of buster. This version costs $3,200. It has a little less memory, but the E310 from Toshiba is the cheapest pocket PC PDA yet. At $400, it comes with plenty of familiar features found in other competing handheld PCs. It weighs about 5 ounces, has a resolution of 320 by 240, and is available now. Handspring has abandoned the springboard modules in the new Trio 90 and instead includes the more popular SD or secure digital media card slot. Also new from Handspring, the Trio 270, a phone and PDA hybrid. Both Trios use the Palm OS and have 16 megs of memory with a 12-bit color display. The Trio 90 costs $300 and the 270, 500. Both are available now. Coming up next on Fresh Gear, take a ride in multimedia luxury. Well, the sky's the limit. Anything you tell us you want done, we can pretty much do it. See how the stars trick out their cars. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. This summer, adventure has a new name. Tech TV presents The Thunderbirds. In the year 2065, crime has no limits. But one family vows to save the world from disaster. Scott Tracy, Virgil Tracy, Alan Tracy, Gordon Tracy, and John Tracy lead an all-star international rescue team. Dazzling special effects. Non-stop action. Holy mackerel. Romance. I saw it too. She's kind of cute. And adventure. If lives depend upon it, then we must risk it. No problem is too big or small. Okay, while you're doing that, I'll fix us some hot coffee. Thunderbirds, coming this summer, only on Tech TV. Fresh Gear is sponsored by Cadillac. Bold vehicles defying convention. Cadillac, breakthrough. What would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? I'm out, man. Let's go. I'm out to see the world. San Francisco, here we go. Are we having fun yet? It doesn't take much to have fun, does it? <laughs> It's like riding on a surfboard. It has to call me Dixie if I wear this. All right, Dixie. I can smell the salt water from here. Give us a swell, baby. So what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? <laughs> Tell us at Pontiac.com. There's some good surf out there. Hey. Just went to Circuit City. Pretty big, huh? Yeah, it's, it's big. But... but what? Well, there's just a little extra space all the way around. Well, we could always go bigger. We can go bigger. You can bring it back. We welcome returns and exchanges with no surprise charges, like restocking fees. Circuit City, we're with you. Honey, it's big enough. I can still see the line. Fred, the sooner you order that server, the sooner I can change my mind about it. Can't talk now, Fred. Got a network to crash. Don't kill yourself, Fred. We don't need those upgrades till tomorrow. Hey, Fred, the computer says system failure. Is that bad? Dealing with technology is hard. That's why CDW makes buying it as simple as possible with a personal account manager who understands what you need and gets back to you quickly. Fred, someday we'll look back on this server thing and laugh. <laughs> CDW, the right technology right away. Rackspace manages over 5,000 web servers. Fanatical support has made us the second largest managed hosting company in the world. That means fantastic customer service with instant expert support. Say no to Colo. Forget IBM. Call today to host the Rackspace way. It's a pin 
Lights Out Caddy Escalade, sitting on Giovanni 24th, with four kicker subs, five flat panels LCDs, a DVD, and a PlayStation gets your motor racing. And the place to get all that gear is 310 Motoring in L.A. Full speed ahead, this is straight for your grill. Bobby Lines corruption off the deal. LAPD's motto is, assume the position button your lip. Move a muscle at the edge of my clip. You've seen them in the movies, rap videos, and in the garages of dozens of athletes and celebrities. Britney Spears, we've done cars for. Um, you look at people like Mini Me, we did a Mercedes for him. Jennifer Lopez, yeah. Denzel, we also did SUV for him. So if you've got the scratch to roll with the players, you bring your ride to Chris Mills, Golden State Warrior basketball star and part owner of 310 Motoring. Chop shop to the big dogs. 310 Motoring chops high-end rides like Bentleys and Ferraris. And of course, the ever-popular Cadillac Escalade, the truck of choice for athletes like Kobe Bryant and Patrick Ewing, and celebs like Dr. Dre and Denzel Washington. Even Brandy has a tricked-out Mercedes G10 from 310. Check it out. But the Cadillac Escalade SUV is the ride of choice. This one sports a supercharger that boosts the already robust six liters power to near 500 ponies. Inside, the fun begins with five video monitors, a DVD player, a CD changer with several thousand watts of boom, provided by a trio of Rockford Fosgate amps custom-mounted behind the seat. GPS navigation is standard, as is a rear camera replacing the rearview mirror. The newest wrinkle is a Sony PlayStation that can be accessed from any seat in the house. It's not just the younger generation, but it's guys challenging their friends that NBA Live and, and golf and football. So you can have two people in the back playing PlayStation, and then you can have the front passengers watching a DVD movie. Every TV that we do, you can have different things going on in the monitors. This particular customer went a little overboard. This one right here has a switching system that you can watch each TV completely independent. Different channel, different DVD, or different movie. It can go anywhere from five, six, seven grand all the way to my Escalade. I put up to maybe like 80,000 in extras. How much? 80,000 in extras alone. Yeah, so the sky's the limit. It depends on how your imagination works and, and you know, Anything you tell us you want done, we can pretty much do it. Now, if you can't afford the entry fee to turn your car into a mobile multimedia crib, 310 will rent you the ride of your dreams. Their list includes the requisite Beamers and Benzes, a Lamborghini Diablo Roadster for $2,200 a day, a Ferrari Modena at $1,900 a day, and the seemingly bargain price Bentley Arnage for a mere $1,300 a day, plus mileage. Aftermarket multimedia companies like 310 keep four-wheel entertainment constantly on the cutting edge. Look for in-car broadcast and satellite TV receivers in the near future. Hey, never leave your home without your matlock. You can still add multimedia features to your ride without breaking the bank. This is the plug-in TV from SSI America. For $300, the TFT LCD screen plugs right into your cigarette lighter has a built-in TV tuner and an antenna, and there's input for your DVD players and game consoles. Now, I like this product. The reception's really good. It works really well. But I think it's dangerous to have it in the front seat. That's why SSI America recommends that you only use it for passengers in the rear. But, of course, there's nothing preventing the driver from watching it while driving. Now, being a CLIA user, I'm really excited about the latest version that's on store shelves. I sat down with our wireless wizard, Han Choi, a relentless pocket PC fan, to dish the dirt on this new Palm OS PDA from Sony. This is the new Sony CLIA. It's stylish, it's sleek, it's functional. It's also expensive and it uses a Palm OS. I agree, it's a little on the pricey side, and uh, I know that you place yourself firmly in the pocket PC camp, but I don't have a problem with Palm OS. The difference with this CLIA is it's got a lot of advanced features. You've got the MP3 player, which you control with this, mm -hmm. and you've got the camera, and that's where you really see the Palm OS's limitations. Let's open it up. First of all, clamshell design, which is really nice, still very, very thin. Um, flip it around, and then flip it back, and you're in perfect mode to take advantage of the camera, which just swivels around here. There's the lens. You can hit the capture button to capture an image. I really like that. The resolution isn't fantastic, but it's decent. 320 by 240. It's 
not spectacular. The limitation is really, though, is the memory. You can't store JPEG images on the device. You have to have the memory stick and MP3 as well. If you want to listen to music, you have to get a memory stick. Not included. How much? Six hundred bucks. Okay, that's yeah. For six hundred bucks, you should have thrown one in. Come exactly. on, that's generous. Here's something that I'm sure that you do like, though. The keyboard, the built-in keyboard, is a nice feature because you don't have to have the little add-on devices. It is a really nice feature, but there are limitations. Right now, you can't access some of the on-screen menu items with the keyboard. There's no shortcut command, so you can't exactly get rid of the stylus. Mm. And I'm not a big fan of the stylus. I'm sick of it. But overall, even though you had some criticisms of it, you did give it four out of five stars. The design is spectacular. The display, best. That's in the industry, but still, it's I, it's six hundred bucks. It's a little pricey. Six hundred bucks is pricey, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait, you know, six months to a year till the price comes down. Then I'm going to get one. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you can't go anywhere today without your gadgets, even on your bike. Next, we take a look at bike tech for the road, and you got to see the new electric scooter from Italy. It's a Vespa on voltage. <laughs> Chevy Tahoe is the only large SUV with the security of auto track four-wheel drive, so you can impress people or avoid them altogether. Chevy Tahoe, like a rock. It was a horrid little machine. I never could understand how I was supposed to move things around or open anything. I mean, even though I used it for years, I never used it well. And now that I have a Mac, I'm, I'm happier. The way the Mac works, it's so intuitive. The way, the way it works seems like the way your, your brain is supposed to work. I get it, and I don't get the PC. I never did. My name is Sarah Whistler, and I'm a writer. If you found a complete IT training program that guaranteed you'd get certified, gave you hands-on exercises available to you online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and included telephone tutoring by a certified IT professional, would you be interested? Well, that's exactly what you get from Smart Certified Direct. It's easy to see why these courses have won so many awards. I got all the benefits of class team training at one-third the cost. Smart Certify Online and Telephone Mentoring gave me the help I really needed to get MCSE certified. From introductory PC repair courses to high-level certifications like MCSE, CNE, Cisco, and Linux, Smart Certify Direct gives you the skills you need to excel in the IT industry. Call 1-877-TRAINING or visit www.smartcertifieddirect.com today to find out about our limited offer and financial assistance. Take a step toward improving your future. Welcome back to Fresh Gear. This zippy little machine that I'm riding has no tailpipe, uses no oil, no gas, and only makes a whisper of a noise. What is it? I'll tell you in just a second. But first, let's take a look at some of the gadgets used by serious bike riders. Road bikes have changed pretty significantly. You can go faster, you can go further with less energy expended. Today's high-end road bikes use titanium, lightweight steel, and woven carbon fiber in their frames, making them strong and light. Weight doesn't count as much as aerodynamics and durability and impact resistance. But it's not just the materials. Most road bike accessories have gone high-tech, too, from the ergonomically balanced handlebars with a shifter integrated with the brakes to better and more safely designed pedals. Even pumping up the tires is easier. Modern pumps use CO2 cartridges like they used to use in rifles. Just put your CO2 cartridge in your pump, lock it all down, and then push the pump up on the inner tube, and your tube just goes, pumps up in seconds. But many serious cyclists keep track of their performance with another type of gadget, a cycling computer. A lot of people who are really sophisticated riders want to keep track of their heart rate, their cadence, their overall mileage, their speed, just to keep them in an appropriate zone for training. Cyclist Rook Campbell trains six days a week and uses the Polar S710, a computer which integrates traditional cyclometer functions with a heart rate monitor. And Rook rates it the best in his class. It has the capacity to store all the records of your workout 99 files so that when you get home you can just 
keep track and analyze and review the sort of workouts you have. The S710 records speed, cadence, altitude, and your heart rate. So cadence is revolutions per minute. And on the 710, it's a wireless attachment on the down tube of your frame um, with a 9-minute sensor on the crank arm, which just allows you to know how fast your legs are spinning as you're going. On the fourth, there's um, another wireless um, attachment, and it has a magnet, and it measures your speed. The benefit of the wireless one is cleaner, it looks good, it's very accurate, and the benefit is that you don't have a wire to get snagged on something to break. I use a web-based training program that my whole training program is devised and organized around, so I transfer and download that data and then use it and analyze it, and it will track um, your hours per week your miles per week, your cadence during that time, your heart rate for that time. Polar also has an optional wattage kit that measures chain tension and calculates the power output with every pedal stroke. If the right leg is doing most of the work, it will show up on the analysis, and you can train for a more even stroke. The heart rate monitors and things are just tools as supplements for the training. I mean, it all comes down to what you're doing on the road. While road bikes depend on pedal power, E-bikes and scooters continue to evolve into better and better machines. And now they're getting sexy. And who does that better? Than the Italians. If you're judging the purchase of your first e-bike on pure sex appeal, then you can't find anything sexier than the Italian La Prima Power Bike. The 250-watt motor is concealed within the front wheel hub. A multi-gear transmission is housed within the rear hub. Pedaling a few turns seamlessly activates the motor, assisting the rider with two power settings, sport or economy. The sealed gel battery is tucked out of sight under the seat and charges in just over two hours. Leco claims a top speed of 20 miles per hour over 20 miles. The first all-electric motor scooter is an Italian Vespa knockoff from Oxygen. Under the hot date red paint job live four lead-acid batteries zapping 48 volts to an 1,800-watt brushless DC motor. It'll rev your yayas up to 25 miles per hour for over 20 miles before you have to hook up to the power grid for a five-hour recharge. At 292 pounds, the Lepton will carry not only you, but a passenger in close quarters. It comes with lights, instrumentation, turn signals, a squishy seat, and a rear cargo rack. The front hydraulic fork and rear coilover spring suspension give a smooth ride. Colors are basic black and, of course, sensuous Ferrari red. This is the Zappy Turbo. It's an electric scooter from Zap, and there's no getting around the fact that this thing is fun. It has a top speed of 18 miles per hour, and everybody we've had hop on it absolutely loves it. But despite the high joyride rating, there are some downsides. First of all, it's heavy, 43 pounds. Secondly, it has a very limited range, only three to eight miles depending on your weight and how fast you go. That alone makes it not worth the $700 price tag. But did I mention that it's fun? Choppers are becoming the number one piece of firefighting equipment in the West. The infrared technology, you can actually see through the smoke. Firefighting choppers next. Fresh Gear is presented by Circuit City. We know the excitement you feel about the latest digital toys. That's why we're here. Circuit City, we're with you. Express pickup. Wow, what a time saver, Ted. I mean, order stuff online, pick it up right away, and you're gone. Honey, you could have waited in the car. It's like we're barely even in the store. Isn't Express pickup great? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Save time, if you want to. Express Pickup. Order online, pick up right away. Or we'll ship to you. Circuit City. We're with you. I leave my I'll get it. Oh, here they are. <laughs> what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? I'm out, man. Let's go. I'm out to see the world. San Francisco, here we go. Are we having fun yet? Doesn't take much to have fun, does it? <laughs> It's like riding on a surfboard. It has to call me Dixie if I wear this. All right, Dixie. I can smell the salt water from here. Give us a swell, baby. So what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? <laughs> Tell us at Pontiac.com. There's some good surf out there. <laughs> Straight from camera to printer. 
shot digital elf. It's digital that inspires. You mop your floor every week, but it still looks dull and dingy. Now you can shine it once, and it shines for months with Quick Shine from Holloway House. It's so quick and easy. Just quick squirt, quick spread, and let it quick dry. For a beautiful quick shine in just 15 minutes. For a quick shine that lasts longer on any floor, vinyl, tile, marble, even wood, guaranteed. So don't just clean it. Quick shine it. Call right now and get two large bottles of quick shine for just $19.95. Plus our concentrated rinse-free floor wash and our pure lemon oil. This ultra soft flannel polishing cloth and these wood and floor care guides absolutely free. Quick shine. Just shine it once and it shines on month after month after month. For rush delivery, use your credit card and call 1-800-241-0055 now. Or send check or money order plus shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Quick shine your floors for only $19.95. Call now. Travel off to become plan me a trip. Plan me a trip that's perfect for my kids. Help me pick out a cruise ship by looking at it. Travelocity can point out another trail. Down the Grand Canyon! Tell me where I can rent an elephant. Travelocity can... Take me to my route. Help me spend time with my sister. Travelocity can let me... Book the plane, the ship, or the automobile. Travelocity can give me tools to plan. Tools to save. Tools to make my trip better. Visit or call Travelocity. Forest fires are an ever-present danger across much of the United States during the summer. With the help of infrared cameras and GPS mapping technologies, firefighting helicopters are going high-tech to help fight these monster blazes. All the aircraft involved in uh, wildland fire use 